a bright star shining in the sky night and day. It could potentially be 15 times brighter than the moon and visible in broad daylight over the U.S. Scientists say the head of that comet about 3,000 miles wide, the tail more than 57,000 miles long, the center area called the nucleus is three to four miles across. That's big. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth destroys the planet. I came to settle up with Sephiroth. I'm afraid of myself. There's a part of me that I don't understand. That part made me give the black materia to Sephiroth. If you hadn't stopped me, Eris might have been. There's something inside of me. A person who's not really me. Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. And let me in on this <laughs> This forest leads to the city of the ancients, and it's called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth this is me here. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Sephiroth like me can do it. The secret is just up here. At least, it should be. I feel it. It feels like I'm being led by someone. Then, I'll be going there. I'll come back when it's all over. Eris? She's the human interfering. She will be a difficult one, don't you think? We must stop that girl soon. settle up with Sephiroth. However, to tell the truth, I'm afraid of myself.
Essentially, it's all but over now. magic book and um, I'm doing some research on Jupiter being Satan and what caught my eye here is the Sephiroth thing and what caught my eye here is the Sephiroth thing the flaming sword follows the downward course of the Sephiroth and is compared to the lightning flash its hilt is kept in the point in the market the serpent of wisdom follows the course of the path of letters upwards its head being this and whatever that is its tail is that at stake is more in one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. It is a big idea, a new world order. Diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. With few exceptions, the world now stands as one. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of the New World Order. Seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of the New World Order.
illumination of a thousand points of light. A shining purpose. The illumination of a thousand points of light. A shining purpose. A shining purpose. The illumination of a thousand points of light. That's why I want to speak to you today about the new world taking shape around us. About the prospect for a new world order now within our reach. It refers to new ways of working with other nations to deter aggression and to achieve stability. As old threats recede, new threats emerge. The quest for the new world order is in part a challenge to keep the dangers of disorder at bay. Folks, whispering in their room is creepy times ten. It gets creepier. I googled it and found a lot, mainly this. Nibiru is a planet listed in the writings of Zachariah Sitchin, particularly his book The Twelfth Planet. According to Sitchin's interpretation of Babylonian religious texts, a giant planet called Nibiru passes by Earth every 3,600 years and allows its sentient inhabitants to interact with humanity. These beings, which Sitchin identified with the Anunnaki of Sumerian myth, would become humanity's first gods. My favorite internet encyclopedia says there's supposed to be a collision. The Nibiru collision is a disastrous encounter between the Earth and a large planetary object. <laughs> Believers in this doomsday event usually refer to this object as Planet X or Nibiru. <laughs> comes a runaway planet, hurtling between the Earth and the Moon, unleashing cosmic destruction. Man's civilization is cast in ruin. 2,000 years later, Earth is reborn. A strange new world rises from the old. A up! There's not a moment to lose! I'll be going now. I'll come.